What's up y'all, my name is Kern and here we are back with another Wi-Fi battle. This one's OU against Destiny. We are gonna set the music to four. So why not? Why not four? And we are bringing today, we're bringing some interesting stuff. We are bringing Mega Ampharos because uh, I like Mega Ampharos uh, with the Cotton Guard um, modest. And then we are bringing Assault Vest um, Machamp because we all know the power of Machamp after that damn uh, Kanto Classic, uh, and then we were bringing a Life Orb Hubba Bubba, we were bringing Choice Specs Kunoichi, uh, Focus Sash, Swords Dancing, Sucker Punch, and Noctigo, and Leftover Sandman with the rocks. So we're gonna go into this today, and we're gonna see what Destiny has to offer. And hopefully we don't get destroyed. Oh, we have a Mono Fire Team. I need to set up the rocks right away. I don't care. Charizard, um, uh, Volcarona. Uh, we have Talon Flame that is going to die to rocks. Infernape, um, Nine Tails, and Darmanitan. So uh, I could. I I'm pretty sure she's going to go into Darmanitan. You turn out into the Nine Tails, sending back up the Sun, and um, instead of, and then getting rid of Sandman Sand, which I am kind of okay with, um, because uh, uh well. Um, I get to set up the rocks. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. I get to set up the rocks. Um, three of my opponent's Pokemon take 50% from rocks, which is perfect. I like it. I really like it. And, um, a shame, because I was about to bring Empoleon. I was about to bring the Karan Maiden. But then I was like, you know what? It doesn't really fit the team. I'd rather have, uh, Sandman as my stealth rocker. But I done goofed. So, yeah. Um, so my opponent Okami is going to set up the sun as I set up the sand, which is fantastic, perfect, I like it. Um, and I don't care, I'm just gonna set up rocks. I don't care, I'm just gonna set up rocks. You can switch out into your talent flame, I'm fine with that. You know what, if you set up, switch into Volcarona, I'll be a little bit more mad. Actually, I'm not, because you can't set up, I have the yawn. So, Destiny from the UK is, um... Is, is going to make her decision and hopefully not destroy my face because I would like my face not to be destroyed just yet. My opponent is actually going to go for the solar beam which is fine. We're going to get our rocks up. Um, I'm going to take a turn to charge because there is no sun. Um, and we can switch into something that takes the solar beam well. Erm, which might be the Erm 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 Kunoichi, are you going to get any use this battle? Any use? Not really. Not really. I kind of, I could just switch into Kunoichi and then basically sack it off. Uh, I could go for some choice specs fo uh, focus blasts, but literally there is no use for Kunoichi. Um, literally no use. I could switch into Hajime because, you know, um, we are assault vest and we'll take it just fine, but like I said, Kunoichi literally is going to see no use. I hit nothing for super effective damage. I hit most things for not very super effective damage. Uh, not very super effective damage. Good job, you with your English. Um, so Kunoichi is going to get hit by the solar beam. It's not going to do anything, but uh, in return, we're not going to do much to it. We can go for a choice specs uh, focus blast, but um, it's gonna it's gonna be a sad time. It's gonna, definitely going to be a sad time for Kunoichi here. Um, we can use up all our uh, focus blasts and then struggle. We actually land our focus blasts. It's fantastic. What do I like it? Uh, and we are not going to tag Okami in one hit. And she's actually going to go for the dark pulse and, uh, and not go for the fire attack. I am surprised. Um, but you know what? I I'm choice specs. Um, actually, if she's just going gonna go and go 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 um, but you know what, we're just gonna stay with Kunoichi and go for Focus Blast. I'm just gonna let Kunoichi die and see how much damage she can do with her Focus Blast. There's literally no other time that I'm going to be using her. Literally, at, except for Death Blotter. Except for Death Blotter. There's no reason she's actually gonna switch out into the Charizard of Volcarona or Talon Flame. Mothra of Volcarona. So we're actually gonna get a Choice Specs Focus Blast off on this thing. It has the berry. That sucks. Uh, I was wondering why it was at even EVs with rocks, but it's because it has the berry and we're gonna miss the focus blast. So that's all good and dandy. And uh, we actually can't risk staying in here because I'm going to get wrecked if I stay. 
Um, so I would feel the most comfortable if we were switching into Hajime. Uh, but Hajime, uh, no, I can't go for knockoff because that would be terrible. I could go into Sandman like I did before, uh, and then say it's a Beyond. But if she goes for Quiver Dance and then if Giga Drain, that might just kill me. Um, I'm actually, I, I am gonna go into Sandman because I can't let this Volcarona set up and whatnot, so I kind of just have to yawn it and not stand to it because I wanted to switch out and come back in and take rock damage. So she is actually just going to go straight for the bug buzz. Still not a single fire move. Um, and I'm, I'm going to... Sandman is going down to this thing. I guess that's okay. Uh, we got a safe switch in... Actually... We got a safe switch in into... Something. Something or another. I'm going to go for the on. I might survive this. Ooh, not a Giga Drain. Um... I should have just let Kunoichi go down, thinking about it. She's gonna get back up to full HP. Um, I can switch out in the Pegasus. See, I have too many special attackers. Scar's throwing it. Um, I can actually... Oh god! I was gonna look at Octagon stats. I messed up. I messed up. It's now or never. Swords Dance. It's now or never. Swords Dance. It is now or never. I done goo! She's gonna switch out! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Into the Talon Flame. Um, the Brave Bird is gonna out-prioritize me, so I have to go for the knockoff. This thing also has e uh, even EVs, interestingly enough. Um, but we see the leftovers, so we can go for the knockoff. Um, Actually, if we predict the Flare Blitz, we can just go for Sucker Punch. I'm gonna predict the Flare Blitz and go for the Sucker Punch. If she goes for Brave Bird, then I was stupid as hell and should have just gone with my first, my first uh, idea, because Brave Bird, two Brave Birds probably gonna take me out. That was a stupid play. That was a stupid play. Uh, oh no, it's not okay. That's fantastic. Um. I do lose my Focus Ash there though, which sucks. Um, <clears throat> What's the possibility? You know what, I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch again. I really- YES! Okay! Oh, she's gonna Will-O-Wisp. Oh my goodness. Oh my good gracious. All these chances I have to go for knockoff and I'm losing them. Um So she's probably gonna roost here actually. Well, not to go's burn. Let's just go for knockoff. Um She's gonna withdraw. Wow, lots of switching. Lots of switching. Even with the uh with the rocks and everything. So uh plus two burnt knockoff, 65 base. I don't know if this will kill. It does! Bye Mothra. Bye bye Mothra! Um I'm pretty sure the Nine Tails is still around, uh, which sucks. But uh, if Townsend comes back in, then we are slightly okay. Slightly. Looking at her team, I'm pretty sure that Charizard is a Charizard X. Um, because she has mainly special attacks. Actually, no, Infernape and Townsend and Dimantan. Eh, eh, I don't know. Uh, so the Infernape's obviously just gonna mock punch me. Um, I can Sucker Punch just in case, but uh, obvious Mog Punch is obvious. I'm not going to switch out on that um, because uh, I already misplayed enough with my uh, thing. My Noctigal, it was burnt. There was no reason to save it. So now we can go into Hubba Bubba. Now we can go into Hubba Bubba and Zen Headbutt. This thing is... Because Hubba Bubba is pretty defensive, so I feel like a Zen Headbutt will KO. I feel like a Zen Headbutt will KO. And anything that comes in as well. Um, except maybe Darmanitan. I don't know. But uh, we are Life Orb. We are pretty defensive. We can probably live a Flare Blitz from this thing. So, if she wants to just Flare Blitz, 
then we can, you know, you know, just uh, just uh, maybe survive, maybe uh, maybe uh, do some stuff. Man, them Talon Flame mind games. I should have known from the leftovers. It was bulky. Ah, whatever. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want her to um, Brave Bird and then Flare Blitz. That would have sucked. Um, but you know what? The Willow is nice. Um, she's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna consider it. She's gonna be like, do I go for the Flare Blitz? Or do I switch out and take more rocks damage? Because these rocks are coming in clutch. So she is going to switch out and take rocks damage. Um, she switches into Talon Flame. So Talon Flame is going to go down here 100%. No doubt in my mind uh, that is a dead Talon Flame. And that is fantastic because that is no more Brave Birding for you. That is no more Brave Birding for you. Brave Bird is down. More Brave Birds. You have a weak bird. You have a, a, a fainted bird. That's not a Braver. Bravery is not fainting. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Dimanitan's gonna come in. This is gonna be powerful. This is gonna be powerful. Can we take a freaking flare blitz from Dimanitan? I am no idea. Um. Hubba Bubba's kind of important. But kind of really important. So I think at this point we switch into Kunoichi. I think at this point we switch into Kunoichi, let Kunoichi go down, and then switch into Pegasus on this, uh, on this Dimanitan. See what do you go for? You go for the U-turn. Ooh, got played. Uh, is that gonna take me out? That's gonna take me out. So I do get switch initiative at the very least. At the very least. Um, so Dormanitan's gonna switch out. We're gonna see what it switches in. And uh, I think, unless the Nine Tail comes out, I'm switching into my um, Inferno. No. <laughs> unless actually, uh, no, the Charizard comes in. Um. So I definitely kind of want someone fast. We take this thing out real quick. Um. Pegasus, says you're not fast. Although, unless this thing is Earthquake, do I really, really believe that this thing is a Charizard X? No, I don't. Thinking back at the team, I think Hubba Bubba is once again my best play. Actually, Hajime might be okay. Um, man, sending in, sending in my Nautical like that was really bad, really bad. I think I'm gonna switch into Hajime. I think I'm gonna switch into Hajime. I just go for a dynamic punch. If it's Y, then uh, he'll be confused. If it's X, then he'll die. So, um, Air Slash won't take me out, and. There's no goddamn way that thing is flinching me. Because I already had to deal with enough shenanigans on the last episode of Tale of Rotatia to get flinched by an air slash. Too much! Alright. So, um, she's actually gonna roost! That is best case scenario for me. That is literally best case scenario for me because we get a full on dynamic punch off. Uh, maybe she was predicting the Rock Tomb or the Stone Edge, but we get a full on dynamic punch off, which is fantastic. You are confused, and we get to we get to go for another dynamic punch. No reason not to. No reason not to. Let's see if she's gonna be able to roost again. She is not, and Amaterasu is just gonna fall. Apologies for the convenient hacks, but you know, you know, you know, that's what dynamic punch is for. That's pretty much what dynamic punch is for. Um, so Infernape can come in and kill me. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna let him. Pretty sure I'm just gonna let him kill me. Um. Um. Yeah. Stay in a dynamic punch. That's the win. Pretty sure that's the win. Hmm. Some loud ass win. Um. So Hajime doesn't have. Oh, he's actually gonna go for the mock punch. Is that choice banded mock punch? Oh my god, that was a critical hit. No, that's a life orb mock punch. That is a life orb ma'aha punch. This dynamic punch is going to take the Infernape out though, which is fantastic. Um, so Hajime just coming through. Y'all know the power of my champ. Without an item, the champ is a boss. But with an item, ooh, living all the special attacks. 
even though I haven't had to deal with one special attack yet. Um, so this thing, this thing's gonna take me out for sure. So that's kind of fine. That's kind of fine. Is we can go into Mesprit. Uh, he's actually gonna go for the Earthquake just in case I switch into my, uh, my, my, my Ampharos, but we're gonna live an Earthquake! Which is fantastic, but laving us, and our mana gonna go down. So, you know what, we're just getting a nice late game sweep with our Manamamanamahama champ. And, uh, Okami's finally gonna come in, take the rocks damage, and go down. So, um... The, the Fury of Four Arms! Just... <laughs> That's supposed to represent four arms because it's supposed to be up here and down here at the same time. That's how I represent four arms! But thank you so much, Destiny, for that battle. I'd say it was Destiny from a chant to be so good. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, thank you so much uh, for the battle and thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment below telling me what you enjoyed. And as always, leave some tips in the tip jar with the Octor tip jar with tips for me or the opponent because tips always help us become better battlers. My tip for just looking at that, definitely need a way to get rid of stealth rocks. I don't know if there is a fire type that knows defog or rapid spin, but definitely, definitely, definitely a way to get rid of stealth rocks. Especially with three Pokemon that are four times super weak to rock. So, until next time, Elimination. Ah.